ancient Greece, divided into states, each ruled by its own king. The king of Thebes was Androcles. <laughs> the mighty Hercules and his son Hylas were loyal to this brave ruler. Good-natured brawling was a necessity to keep the young warriors fit and strong, for wars were always present. That's enough now, boys. Come on, we're leaving now. History tells us of the wars. Legends tell us of an era when the unforeseen perils of the mystical unknown were always lurking. This is one of those legends. without end. Can't you see a rain of blood and fire? Death and ruin are descending upon the cities of Greece from the heavens, from the heavens. Unbelievable horror out of the west, where few have been through the straits from which no vessel has returned. Across unknown sea, beyond the strait, from which no man has yet returned. From beyond the strait, Tarikius told us, from beyond the strait, across the great ocean lies the terrible danger threatening us. And I say to you, kings of Grecian cities, that we must attack these evil forces before they reach our shores. Attack them and destroy them! If it were my decision, I would not hesitate to join my forces with yours. But it's the Council of Thady which governs my lands, and it's difficult for Thady councillors to ever manage to reach an accord. Thanks to the gods I alone command in my kingdom, Androcles is right. We should attack rather than just defend ourselves. Xenope. Yes. <laughs> Better. Better to divide ourselves. One force attacks, the other defend. Dear brothers, we didn't come here to bring up the things which divide us. We must unite against the enemy that menaces us. 
Would you perhaps prefer that we wait here helplessly for the moment when the enemy will decide to attack, to destroy all of our cities? My soldiers are invincible, and my navy big enough to transport them anywhere. Per centipede. Naturally, we're not so foolish as to abandon my city. Watch, Andrew, please. Look at the outlines of Greece over on the map, and within the confines of my own land. I swear by all the gods on high that no enemy will ever pass them. You hear? <laughs> to there! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> if you think I've been impressed with such a childish spectacle, you're mistaken. Even a king can court misfortune if he's too intriguing. May I point out to you that tribute money for the last war is still waiting to be paid? If you think to fill your coffers with my gold because we're now forced to be allies, no! All right. I must go alone with my own warriors, abandoning my kingdom to defend all of yours. Have no fear. I shall see to it that nobody sits upon your throne during your absence. Especially for me and Tiro. We shall sculpt one far more beautiful to celebrate your homecoming. Mine. Ours, you mean. You'll leave me once again. And I'm to wait here as before. But I didn't say anything. No. I know you far too well. You won't let Androcles go alone. Why do you men like to chase after glory instead of remaining by your fireside, particularly with a loving wife? An adoring son who's too weak to go on your dangerous voyages, even to confront life. And you, though judging me so badly, still succeed in loving me. I've heaped curses on your head many times. But it seems that the very gods will die, my dear, before I leave here. Dianara, I love you too. You know I do. Yes, and it adds to my suffering. No, this time I don't want to leave. I've already made up my mind. But if I once had any doubts, I don't have any more. I refuse to let you suffer for me any longer. Is that true? Do you swear it? I swear by the gods. The time has come for me to settle down to a calm and tranquil life like the rest of the men. What do you want? Pardon me, Dianara. I've been waiting for Hercules to let me know when we can put to sea. Leave now, if you wish. Hercules is staying in Thebes. What do you mean? But what do we do? You have to come, Hercules. You must. We can't possibly wait any longer. You know that. I'm being reasonable. That's why I'm not leaving Thebes. Here I have my home, my wife, and my son. And it's time now that I enjoy them in peace. He's right. And you, Androcles, I must insist you won't get him away from me another time. Very well, then. But I've always been ready to accompany you wherever you've led, even through the most terrible dangers, and, and even though I was afraid. Well, perhaps Dinara is right. If I had a beautiful wife and son, I would think the same way. Goodbye now, Hercules. I'll wait for you at the palace. We must try my fine old wine of Tiro and drink to our health and to my voyage. He'll be very mad. Hmm. Difficult to say before he wakes up. No matter, we're miles offshore. When Papa finds out I put a sleeping powder in his wine. Hey, he's coming around. You take over. Don't. If he finds out that I'm here on board, we're all done for. Wait, I'll come with you. No, you stay here.
Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yes. How long have we been at sea? Uh, since sunup. And where's your fleet? Uh, well... And where are your warriors? I have none. It's because of that I brought you with us. I understand, I understand. And is this your crew? Right. Galley slaves and cut purses. Fine company. It's the best I could find. But I thought you were the king of thieves. Aren't you? I fought against the soothsayers, the senators, the commanders of the army. Aren't you always saying that democracy is... Never mind, never mind. Anyway, I was right to smash the throne, wasn't I? Now... How do you intend to beat the enemy? Oh, I forgot. You've got Timotheus. No need for irony. An enemy we've never seen is twice as powerful. We now have to find out who this enemy is. From what unknown land he threatens us. How strong he is. How great are his armies. From where does he intend to attack us? Hercules, what are you doing? I'm sleepy. Uh. I'm upset. I prefer to be a hit somebody. Possible. I hid down here in this hole six long days. I've gotten seasick in the bargain. I'm going up. No, no, you don't. Don't you move. We lost if Hercules finds you on board. The only thing he's been asking all these days is whether you're at home safe and sound. Did you tell him I was? Don't be silly. What else did he say? Nothing. Mostly sleep. When he doesn't sleep, he fishes. Fishes? Fishes. Caught many fish? Nah. Hey, the 
water can't be far off. And the men will be back soon. We should leave before the sun goes down. Look, Yonder. Hmm? There in that direction is a mysterious country. If we can find it with the aid of the gods, we can confront the danger that's menacing us. What makes you so sure the gods will help us? I'll go look for the men now. I can't believe that rats gnawed those water bags. Human rats with swords, maybe. Certainly not the best of men for an enterprise like this. Sleep well. Don't trouble yourself. I'll wake you just before we go aboard.
like a bug. Like I'm crazy? <laughs> Dying. I'd much rather place my father. And maybe I can help Andrew. Don't be ridiculous. Not more than a minute ago, Hercules decided to help us. You know, with the sail. Go see what it is. You all the tiller. meet again. Granted that it be in my power to save him. Oh, Zeus, my father. monster who threatened you.
I'm safe. Yes, Proteus is dead. That is his blood. This rocky cliff, the whole island, is Proteus himself. He nourished himself on the blood of you and other victims. But now it is all over. You think so? It was my people who left me as a sacrifice to prevent him from destroying them. When you killed him, you went against the will of the gods. No. Without the help of the gods, I would never have succeeded in slaying that monster. And the gods will help us again. Our island has vanished as if by magic. I saw it from the mountain. It's now my fear Atlantis can be seen by mortal eyes. Uranus has abandoned us. That explains his anger. Listen, Thunder over on the great mountain. We must sacrifice the Proteus. Wait. Proteus does not need human victims any longer. You dare enter here? Who are you? Hercules the Beast. My father, the omnipotent Zeus, has guided me here to your land. Let him alone. No mortal has ever dared set foot on the sacred island of Atlantis before. What are you doing here? What foolhardy reason has led you to defy the ire of our God? I do not believe in evil gods. Such gods I have been taught to hate. I combat gods which demand human sacrifices and slake their thirst with human blood. For this reason I have slain Proteus and saved the life of a maiden who was sacrificed to his monstrous fury. You lie! Silence. Your daughter is alive, and yet there is no joy in your eyes. You have committed the most terrible of sacrileges. You have killed the son of Uranus, Proteus, and at his death the mists which had protected Atlantis for centuries were dissolved. What is Atlantis to hide which mortal man must not behold? For what reason have you come here to Atlantis? Hercules the thief? I have brought his mamie back to her mother. And if the gods were as angry as you say, they never would have allowed me to come this far nor helps me to destroy Proteus. Perhaps you are right and we are wrong. But... If we have committed errors, we must remedy them. 
and give our thanks to him who has opened our eyes. Come, my daughter. I am happy you have returned. I can only ask your forgiveness and render my thanks to him who has saved you. It is not me you should thank, but the fate which has brought me here in search of a friend. Fate must have been more concerned for the well-being of his many than for the well-being of your friend, sending you here to our shores. No mortal has ever landed here before. You are the first. My friend Andrew has vanished at sea during a storm. I'm convinced he's alive. But he's in danger. Were he here, I would not hesitate to tell you. I would go to any lengths to help him out of gratitude to you for having saved the life of my daughter. But now we must celebrate your victory over Proteus. May it signify good fortune for our land. You shall be my guest. You have only to ask for anything you wish, and it shall be given to you. I've awakened from a nightmare. I can't bear to think of the terrible end I was destined for. You're more beautiful than ever. And I love you more than ever. I... I well understand your feelings. But if... But if Hercules had not saved you as he did, your fate would have been far less terrible. When I offered you as a sacrifice to Proteus, it was not for the reason that you think. Not to satisfy the lust of that accursed monster. There was no need to sacrifice the daughter of a queen. You are the daughter of Antonia. You are my daughter. If you had to die, it was for a far more noble and fatal reason than that. Your destiny is bound to mine, as Mamie, just as mine is bound to my kingdom. I never told you the truth before, because death and truth have the same meaning for me. Unfortunately, nothing has changed. On the day that a daughter of mine shall survive me, it is written in the sacred books, Atlantis shall be destroyed. Mother, then I... You must die. I don't want to die. No! I don't want to die! Oh. Oh, don't let them kill me! No! Take her away! No, I won't! I... That man. I 
saw myself. It was Androcles. Androcles? I don't understand. I don't understand myself. I'm sure I saw my friend Androcles. And yet... I don't doubt your words. I suppose you think I've lost my mind. Even I now seem only to have dreamed at all. No, what you've experienced is quite normal. Often the desire to see a loved one creates the illusion of seeing visions. Yes, perhaps you're right. Besides, you are weary from your long journey. Seeing nothing but death and hardships along the way, you must try to relax and put your mind at peace with more pleasant things. You leave me in peace. I've been waiting for this for days. Now I want to sleep. Get up there. Coming closer. One of the men is carrying a girl with him. It looks like she's a prisoner. A girl. Till sunset. Let's kill her now. It's orders of Antinea. When it's time, we'll throw her from the cliffs to the rocks below. Don't you look at me like that. We're merely obeying your mother. If it were up to me. What are you doing? Now save that girl. You want to see him kill her? No, but I don't want to save her by getting killed myself. Look at her. you be afraid. We're here to protect you. Courage. It's no use. It's no use. Why say that? Where can I go? No matter where it's my best. But I die now. Don't be foolish. You'd want to kill you. What kind of people live here? Unfriendly and somewhat nervous. Fly for your lives at once. They'll kill you too. They have possibly already killed the great Hercules. Hercules? Is he far away? Do you know him? He's my father. Don't worry now. If he's here, we're all safe. are more interested in the grace of an art than in magical apparitions. What you witness is not magic, but nature itself. Here in Atlantis, we try to subjugate nature to our own scope. I am satisfied with nature as it is. Savage and gentle at the same time. Cruel and yet generous. 
Perhaps that is because your strength and your courage make it possible for you not to be afraid of the mysteries of the universe. Why? Do you fear them? Perhaps. <laughs> I shall have no peace until I discover what has happened to him. Perhaps your friend is dead. Perhaps his body lies at the bottom of the sea. I would like to stay here with you, Antonia. But at least for now, it is not possible. What a pity. Tomorrow I shall place at your disposal a ship so that you may continue your search. There's only one thing that I ask. You must promise me that you will return. I shall return. This I promise you. Atlantis. What do you want of us? But what are you saying? Androcles, you must be mad. <laughs> no. You. You are mad. If you think you're able to combat the force of Atlantis with the pitiful strength of your muscles. <sighs> you may kill me if you wish. But you'll all be destroyed. Destroyed by the forces of our queen. There will be no mercy for those who attempt to defy our power. There'll be no hope of escape for you. Androcles, listen to me. No. You listen to me, whoever you are. You must die. And with you, all Greeks will perish as blood rains down and purifies the earth. The skies will burst into flame to hail our victory, destroying the temples of your meaningless gods. And a great god will return to his own, Uranus! to rule over all. What you say is blasphemy. I'm sorry, Hercules. I did not wish but for you... But why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me he was here? You are too suspicious. Who knows what sinister motives you attribute to my acts? Perhaps you even believe those insane visions created out of your sick mind. I believe in what I see and what I hear. And you can't deny that you've lied to me. I told you that Androcles was not in Atlantis. I suppose you think that poor madman is your friend. Your very best friend for whom you were willing to leave your home and sacrifice your life. But why didn't you tell me? I wanted to spare you further grief. As far as you are concerned, Androcles is dead. Now I do not know whether it is better to have pity on him and let him go on suffering in his madness, or whether to... No. If you have pitied him up to now, I beg you to continue to pity him. 
And you forgive me for having doubted the sincerity of your feelings. Take him away and see that he is well treated. Do not worry about Andrew, please. Perhaps if you decide to stay here together, we can nurse him back to health. That is, if you so desire. Here, drink this wine. It will put your spirit at rest. to remain here for as long as you wish, even for the rest of your life. from here would have dared to attack us. So, only two men managed to overcome ten of you. Antinea, send me back with new men. I assure you this time they won't get away. I beg you. I swear it. Such a thing won't happen again. Yes, you're right. It won't happen again. No, no! Don't put me in the acid! No, don't kill me! No! Let me go! I've had to imprison Andrew Cleese. In such a state of mind, he could easily be dangerous. Dangerous for whom? Dangerous for Atlantis. I am the queen of Atlantis. It is I who decide about life and death. Open it. Poor Androcles. Too fragile for the weight he had to support. Now somebody else will sit on the throne that was destined for him. Take him to the valley and let him die like the rest of the weaklings. And then go find me as Mene. And kill her! Kill her! <laughs>
Let's go after them. You're mad. They'll kill you. I only want to follow them. See where they put him. Come on. Here comes the bar. Get it. Get it. Get it. Did you hurt yourself? It's Hercules. Manny, 
If we were helped by the men of the valley, we'd be able to finish them off easier. Can we set them free? Down there. There's a barricade. We gotta break it down. Violence, you can't do that by yourself. Even if you should break through, the guards would here. It's better to run. Hide ourselves. If my father finds me here with a girl, he'll never let me out of the house. I'd better do something useful before he gets hold of me. Then we can hide somewhere. Feeding us like animals. And every day we curse the fates who keep us alive and that monstrous queen who put us here to starve. But why? What is the meaning of all this? To create a new race. Up there in the mountain of the dead is a miraculous rock which has the power to change all men. Change men? What do you mean? I don't know. I only know that we are doomed. Every year the guards of Antonia choose the children, destined to be changed by the rock and its powers. You resist, others don't. Those boys that I saw? Yes, we were like them before we were taken to the mountain many years ago. Look at us now. We are the few who resisted the rock and its influence. Those who succumbed have never been seen since. Many say that they now live in the world of the supernatural, creatures of evil, invincible. I'll go to the mountain. Send us to attack Atlantis! No, Hercules is right! We will never be really free until we destroy the power of that rock forever. I will go with you. Wait for me here and take care of Androcles. When I return, we shall decide what to do. Yes, Father. Come along. In spring, it's unbelievable. We'll just think about all our todays and our tomorrows. Stranger, come! We're going to attack the city! Stop! You're all mad! You heard the orders from my father! We all love to Hercules, but he can't give us orders now! If you're afraid, stay here with your father! But we want every man! Yes! 
I must try to stop them. Look after Androcles and his mate. for all men. Look, down there is the fiery rock which holds the secret of life or death. You don't believe me, Hercules? You think I'm mad? The suffering has warped my mind, is that it? But what if it's true? You can't believe that a piece of rock can destroy a man as we know him. You can't believe that a piece of rock can change bodies as well as minds. That rock may give us life, Hercules, but it also brings death. With dead men who walk, Hercules. Unbelievable horror! <laughs> It was his destiny. I'm sure he's better off where he is now. When the light touched that man, he disappeared. The rock can also take life. Who are you, priest? There's a sign of years on your face, nor the passing of time in your eyes. In ages past, before Zeus, your father, reigned over the earth and over mankind, another god, immense and powerful, dominated Olympus. Uranus! Betrayed by his own son, Uranus was struck down and thrust into the great unknown. The gore which flowed from his hideous wounds fell upon the seas and sank into the waters. And though all the earth needed that divine cleansing rain, only a few drops fell on Atlantis, making us the heirs to all the powers of Uranus. And the blood of the god became a rock, living and vibrant, a rock that gave light and darkness and evil. Antonia, the queen of the island, was eager to make use of the rock's powers. Hundreds of years have passed, ages of evil rituals and murders. Now, after much searching, Antony has found the mystic secrets of Uranus and will use them to make herself omnipotent, destroying all mankind and the gods. You are a priest, Satan. How can you speak so of death and destruction? I was the last high priest dedicated to Uranus. And I still worship here at his sacred shrine. I'll serve him forever. Uranus was a just god not a god of revenge. If what you say is true, Zenith, this stone must be destroyed. It has already caused too much evil. The blood of Uranus can never be destroyed by no one on this earth. The rock of the god will only lose its power when touched by a force above and beyond this earth on which we live. You know the secret of this force, Zenith. Tell me. I can reveal to only one man the secret mysteries of the gods, but he must show me that he is stronger than the rock itself. Take this bar, Hercules, and demonstrate your strength. can destroy the rock of Uranus. When a man can remove that stone and a ray of sunlight shines upon the rock, then we will see the end of the reign of Antinea, of Atlantis, and of all its inhabitants. Thank you, Zenith, and have no fear. I 
shall succeed in defeating Antonia without destroying Atlantis or her inhabitants. With the help of my companions, I shall put an end to her reign. <laughs> Because of you, Hercules. Listen to me. I could have had your son killed, and with him your friend. I could have had you killed, too. Perhaps I should have. For that is what my people advised me. But I did not heed their advice. I wanted you to live. I wanted you to live because I love you. Join me in the conquest of the world. All mankind will recognize me as their queen and adore you as the one and only God. Love me, Hercules, and together we shall reign over men and gods. How do you expect to conquer the world? These are my soldiers, my men, against which no force in the world can combat of a supreme race born of the blood of Uranus. Pick up that table, Hercules, and hurl it away if you are able to.
with this new race, I can dominate the world. And you shall be at my side. This is a mad dream, Athenaea, but I shall put an end to the madness. So once again, you have disobeyed me. Yes, I know. But the slaves wanted to attack the city, and there wasn't any time to stop them. Where are the others? I don't know. Timotheus got away with his mania and Androcles, but when I tried to join them, I was attacked. I was hit from behind by one of those strange men with white hair. And when I came to, I found myself here. Maybe they use magic. invoking my help. This is the room where Androcles lost his memory and consciousness, and Antonia means to do the same thing to us.
hotel we must lead to the temple. The other one should lead to the sea. Go, Hylas, and leave this island. And you, Father? I'll join you as soon as I can. Father. Go, Hylas. This time you must obey me. It's a favor I ask. Take care of your mother. They've discovered our escape. Hurry!
Where's his mate? Captured. And Andrew Clint with her. I tried to protect them. I threw myself on those soldiers. I fought like a lion. I confused them. I must have killed at least 50. But his mate is a prisoner? Yes. Where is she? Down on that ship. She and Andrew Cleese are to be sacrificed. They'll set fire to the ship and let it drift away in the wind. We've got to get aboard that ship. What did you say? Start yelling. Right now? You heard me. Call for help. And you ask your mind off. I told you to start yelling. Help somebody. Help. He's a lunatic. Help me, please. While the ship will be aflame, and the waves of the sea satiated will not seek other victims. And thus they will protect the voyage of our warrior. There's the signal. I'll set the ship afire.
You don't know what you did. Why? Well, what did I do? You saved all of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mr. Hercules. 